good day grade 11s. In this series, we have learned about electric circuits as well as how energy is transferred and power is dissipated across the components in a circuit. Electricity plays such an important part in our lives, so we need to understand how it works. Electrical energy really sustains the modern world. Think about it. In our cities, electrical energy is vital to the functioning of our traffic systems and electrical energy from batteries starts our cars. Television, radio and the internet are essential to the complex communication systems that link the countries of the world. Electric currents turn motors and drive machinery. In fact, they drive almost all industrial applications. Electrical energy is usually the main power source used in our homes because electric currents lights up our homes, heats our food and provides the energy of labour-saving appliances such as vacuum cleaners and washing machines. In South Africa, more and more households are gaining access to electrical energy as the national grid is extended. Many South Africans would find life very difficult without electrical appliances, such as light bulbs, heaters, irons, stoves, refrigerators, hi-fis and even hair dryers. Such appliances represent only a few of the possible applications of electrical energy in everyday life. We have to pay for the electrical energy we use if we want to receive these electrical services. Electrical energy is sold in units called the kilowatt hour. This is abbreviated as KWH. One kilowatt hour is the energy used by a 1000 watt appliance operating for one hour. To understand how much energy this represents, let's convert this to joules. We know that energy equals power times time. Time is measured in seconds, so we take the power of 1000 watts and multiply it by 3600 seconds, the number of seconds in an hour, to get a value of 3,6 times by 10 to the power of 6 joules. To make sure we understand this, let's look at another example. How much would it cost to run a heater rated at 220 volts and 1,200 watts for two hours if the cost per unit of electricity is 1 rand 20 cents? The power given is 1,200 watts. We need to convert into kilowatts, so that is 1,2 kilowatts. We have also been given the time of two hours. Now we can use our equation. Energy equals power times time. Therefore, we can see that the amount of energy used by the heater is 1, 2 multiplied by 2, which gives us 2, 4 kilowatt hours. Now that we know how much energy the heater used in two hours, we can calculate the cost of using it. We have been told that the electricity costs 1 rand and 20 cents per unit. That means that it costs 1 rand and 20 cents per kilowatt hour. Therefore, we calculate the total cost by multiplying the units by the cost per unit. So the cost equals 2.4 kilowatt hours times by 1 rand and 20 cents, which equals 2 rand and 88 cents. To understand how much electrical energy we use in our homes, let us look at the power ratings of a number of different appliances. Remember that the higher the power rating, the more the energy the appliance uses per unit time. The power rating of most household appliances is given underneath the appliance. Here we have a kettle that has a power rating of 1,900 watts. This washing machine has a power rating of 1,000 watts, as does the iron. Televisions, fridges, and fans each use more or less the same amount of power, between 300 and 350 watts. The average light bulbs used in households are rated at 100 watts. From these household appliances, we realize that they could dissipate a lot of power. We could save a lot of electrical energy and power just by switching off appliances when they are not used. Let's look at an example to illustrate this. A lot of people don't realize that power is still lost by certain appliances that have not been switched off, even if they are not being used. 
This power is called standby power. Television, stereos, computers, and cell phone chargers are all devices that have standby power. Here is a table of some of the devices and their power ratings while in use and not in use. The average cell phone charger uses 3,68 watts while charging your phone, but it still uses 2,24 watts when just plugged in, not being used. A laptop computer uses 29,48 watts while in use, but still uses 15,77 watts while it is set to sleep mode. A low energy television uses 186,09 watts when in use and 6,97 watts when it is off but still switched on at the plug. We can save a great deal of money and energy by just turning our electrical devices off when we are not using them. Think about those hours that you are at school and your family is at work. In fact, standby power can account for about 10% of a family's electricity bill. Now you know how you can help your family save money. That's all about electric circuits. Remember to do the questions in the task video. Goodbye.